in this video we are going to perform some exercises based on what we learn in the previous tutorial so we are going to create this object so the length of this object is total 30 20 25 is 75 so at first we have to set the limit so first command we will be giving is limit so we will directly type first three characters lim then press enter then for specified lower left corner we have to use 0 comma 0 then press enter then for upper right corner as a we required a length of 75 so we will be taking more than that so we will take it 100 100 comma 100 enter then we have to go for zoom all command to apply the limits to the screen then we will start with line command line then specify the first point on the lower left corner then we need a straight line so we will make the ortho ortho on ortho mode on you can do it by effort on keyboard just click it so once ortho is on your line will be straight so give the direction where you want to give and give the length so I want 75 length then this is horizontal line has been created of 75 length so I want to go vertical so the vertical length is again 20, 25, 35 is 65 so we will go vertical and give a length of 65 then we have to go on the left side so take the cursor on the left side and the length is 25 then 30 so the horizontal length is 25 enter press enter then go again downward the vertical length is 30 again enter then again horizontal is 20 15 so again go horizontal give the length of 20 enter then go downward give the length of 15 vertical length of 15 then press enter then this length will be up to this point so you can see that the length is 30 you can also track this point you can you have to take your cursor to that end point and come up come up and just click so it will automatically take that length and you can click on the close so it will close the sketch and it will stop the line command so in this way this first exercise has been created then first uh, you can save this exercise by clicking on this save button so we will save it as ex1 then just click on save and we will suppose keep it as it is we can start new from here also just click on this take a CAD as template click open so new drawing is started so the next drawing is the star object so again we can work out the limit suppose we will take this as a 30 20 again 30 20 30 roughly we will take it is as a 30 20 30 that means on the 30 30 30 90 plus 40 is 130 and we have to take more than that so we will take suppose 150 150 so we will at first we will set the limits limits then lower left corner is 0 comma 0 enter then upper right corner is 150 comma 150 enter then zoom all you can give the zoom all command by keyboard also just press z then enter then a then enter so you need not to go to this position also so we want to create this star so this we will start from this point so 20 20 and again here this length is 30 and we will have to work out the angle so take first line command click on the line you can also go for l enter specify first point so you have to decide point in such a way that you will get the space for drawing the complete object so i will take it here then i want the line straight so i will make the ortho on then direction is downward so length is 20 again i want to go on the right side so again length is 20 i want to uh, draw inclined line so i will make the ortho off so here is the inclined line 
in between if uh, you if your objects go out you can pan by pressing uh, pressing down the scroll and dragging the mouse upward so in this way you can pan it or you can also pan from here by clicking this button and pressing down the first mouse button and dragging the mouse to come out just right click and exit so you will come out so in this case I will have to give the length we know length is 30 so I will give 30 now to give the angle we have to press the tab button on the keyboard just I will press the tab so I will have to give this angle from x axis downward angle this one so this angle I will see in this exercise so he need from this horizontal line this angle so this vertical angle I know I know this angle is 30 from vertical line that means this angle is 90 so remaining is 60 so I will give that angle of 60 in this way this has been created again here on this direction again length is 30 for angle I have to press the tab again this angle I have to work out so angle between these two line is 60 that means again from vertical this will be 30 so this angle will come out to be 60 so this angle will be 60 because this is 60 if we draw a vertical line that means vertical and this inclined line is 30 so it will be remaining will be a 60 degree so we will just give a 60 then again we need a straight line so we can from keyboard we can press the F8 button again give the length of 20 give the direction and the length again I need the inclined line again F8 button give the length then tab now this angle this angle we have seen this is 30 so we will give the 30 angle again on this side length is 30 then tab again I need this complete angle so we know that this angle is 60 that means from horizontal line this angle is 30 that means the remaining is 150 total is 180 therefore remaining on this side is 150 so we will give 150 again ortho on for straight line give the length again ortho off give the length tab again from this vertical line we have to go 30 ahead by 30 degree that means total angle is 120 degree again length of 30 tab again 120 degree then ortho on again I ortho off and again length of 30 tab now here again I need this angle to be 30 on this side from this horizontal line to this inclined line so it will be remaining will be 150 so I will give 150 and I will I can also close by clicking C button on the keyboard so in this way this second exercise is completed so this is EX2 suppose again start the new then next exercise is this triangle and three circles are there so at first we will create a triangle again limit uh, this length is 60 plus 15 plus 10 70 80 85 so more than that we will take it 120 you can take any any value it should be more than the required value so at first we will create this triangle of 60 length it is a equilateral triangle so this angle will be 60 and this angle will be 60 but in AutoCAD it will ask you for this angle so once it is 60 that means it will be 120 because total angle is 180 let's let's say so at first limits 0 comma 0 120 comma 120 zoom all z enter a enter then line first point ortho on f8 then length of 60 then incline ortho off again length of 60 then angle tab so this angle is 60 that means uh, remaining angle will be 120 then just click on c for closing the line so this triangle is created then we have to draw the circles so circle is 10 10 and 15 radius so for that we will take the circle command circle radius give the center point and give the radius of 10 you can enter 
to repeat the command last command you can press just enter you need not to go again to this toolbar again specify center point give the radius or you can click from here also click give the radius of 10 now I have to draw the internal circle so we can make a construction as we are in very initial stage we will just make a construction we will draw one line from this end point to the this midpoint and this end point to this midpoint just take line end of this and take it to the midpoint of this line then just press enter to stop the line command again you can press enter to repeat the line command first point to the midpoint press enter to come out then take the circle command now the center will be the intersection of these two line click on the intersection now this circle is touching this horizontal line so we will just click on the we don't know the exact radius so just we will click on the midpoint so in this way this circle is created we don't need these two lines so we will erase those lines using erase command yes select both the lines and just press enter on the keyboard so this object is created then again next object so the next object is this one again limit is 90 plus 20 110 plus 30 140 so we will take 200 comma 200 so we'll just again take the limits 0 comma 0 200 comma 200 and zoom all z en enter a enter then uh, in this we will need a line of 90 length and on that end of those two lines we will create the circle of 20 30 10 20 so at first we will take the line command give the first point make it ortho on give the length of 90 enter again you have to press enter to come out then circle center point then radius of 20 again circle center point then radius of 30 again circle give center point radius of 10 again circle radius center point give radius of 20 so in this way this object has been created one line and four circles now we need this line to be tangent to this circle so to create a tangent we will take the line command if we take here it is showing me the quadrant so if you create a line from the quadrant it will not be a cor correct line if you zoom here with mouse by scrolling scroll towards monitor so it will be going inside so we don't want that so we will just erase this line by saying e enter and select the object enter so we have to create a tangent line so to create a tangent line now he is showing quadrant we need a tangent to select that tangent we have to press shift on the keyboard and right click on the mouse right click second button and select tangent from here now we want line to be tangent to this circle so click on at any point on the circle so a tangent line will be created now I want this tangent line on this circle also again shift right click say tangent and click on the circle to come out press enter again to repeat the line press enter again shift right click tangent click on the circle again shift right click tangent click on the circle and enter if you don't need this line you can erase it using erase command so in this way this exercise is also created so thanks for thanks for joining so we have created the required exercises thank you